Hello guys and welcome to our channel here at GoFlex Traffic. I'm Sean and today we will be showing you the latest driving test route here from Kastrup in Amma. Um, remember that the main focus on you for your driving test from the examiner, they will be looking at how you are operating your car, are you changing gears correctly, uh, using your, your, your pedals correctly, are you positioning your car uh, on the lanes correctly, and are you driving the speed allowed, which means don't drive unnecessarily too slow. And then don't forget your verifications, all right? Mirror, mirror, shoulder. Each time you'll be changing direction with the car. Let's get started. Um, start always with your seat belt. Take a deep breath. The biggest key to pass this driving test here in Denmark is try to relax. When you're starting your car, always use the two pedals for the safety. Okay, so now I'm pressing the clutch pedal down and then the brake. By the way, try to look at the feet here. It's recommended to make kind of like a V, the, the V letter form with your, with your feet. And try not to use the, the whole foot on the pedal, like the middle part of the foot. It will, it will mess up with your clutch pedal. It's recommended to use the top of the foot not exactly the toes, but just below the, the toes. Use that part on the pedals. And the brake pedal is so sensitive down here, as you can see, um, that's recommended to kind of only touch it like 10, 15% of the pedal itself. Do not put the whole foot on it. It will also mess up your brakes. You might be banging your head and the examiner doesn't look good if you are making the examiner banging his head in front here because you might have brake too hard. All right, let's get started. Seat belt, clutch pedal down, brake for the safety, turn the key. Also forget the correct gear. As you can see in front, we cannot proceed, so we will need to reverse. So let's take the reverse. Okay, you can prepare the car, starting, putting in gear and all that. So do not do your verification until all this is ready. Now let's start to do the checkups. When you're reversing, it has to be um, both sides, so not only one side. Right, and then to the left. Let's start reversing here. I did not release a, a parking brake in this car, it's because it's electronic. So. The new cars nowadays, they, they will detect that you are um, starting to move and then the parking brake will go off um, automatically, which is really cool. <coughs> All right. Here you will normally always be told to turn to the right. You give your, you do your verification and then you give your turn signal. In this driving test route, they'll be checking you on a little bit on the, on the highway, some narrow roads, some traffic signs, like if it's allowed to proceed or not. Um, and we will go through each point here and point out for you what can help you to get prepared for your driving test. At this traffic light, you'll be told to turn to the right. So make sure to check, give signal, and then look at this. We need to go really close to the curb on the, on the right side here, all right? So we need to block for the cyclists. It can be really hard to estimate uh, how close are you in the front. So try not to turn the wheel too hard, but like slightly, and then watch more your side mirror. The side mirror will normally show you the gap between the car and the curb. Okay, one more checkup. No pedestrians, no cyclists. Let's get going. At this next traffic light, you'll be told to turn to the left. So we are positioning already to the left. There'll be two left turning lanes. If you have seen some of our other videos, where we are also explaining and make sure to choose the one 
uh, furthest to the right if unless the examiner tell you to go double left or making a u-turn which is by the way not allowed here when something is not allowed out there for your driving test the examiner um, will not tell you and like trick questioning and how to say like tricking you into doing something that is not legal so do not worry about that part the examiner is not allowed to tell you to go somewhere that you're not allowed to <clears throat> but it can happen that you are suddenly meeting up a sign and then you need to prepare and do not proceed we are now entering highway there is a sharp bend so that's why we are keeping the uh, recommended speed around 40 but as soon as the bend is over it's recommended to that you should speed up to the new speed limit which here in this case on the highway will be 110 normally it's 130 all right let's speed up you you can skip some gears on the highway so you can uh, so you don't need to change too many gears so i went now from three to five and in this car we also have the gear six verification signal and let's go to the gear six it was lane merging so you have to do your verification and also have to give signal <coughs> trying to catch up to 110 a car in front is going slow let's change the lane it looks safe uh, distance from behind as soon as you have uh, done your overtaking part then you must go back to the right again furthest right so let's do that it seems like it's safe now because the car is visible in your inside mirror check up giving signal and then you shall do another checkup because of the lane merging happening here looks safe keep it around the speed limit it can be hard to hold it on exactly 110 just don't go 90 or 120 but something in between and close to the 110 as the speed limit here you will get told to exit at Tonby the signal uh, turn signal for exiting doesn't have to be super early but appropriate distance approximately 200 meters before so we are giving the signal exiting and only slow down when you are on this exit lane and turn off the signal you'll get told to turn to the right at the traffic light coming up So you do another verification mirror mirror shoulder signal do not save your your head turning behind the blind spots okay it's one of the top threes that the students are top three mistakes that the students are failing their test so the students are checking the uh, the mirrors like this and then again all right that will that can cause you a, a failing point okay so don't just keep checking your side mirror too many times unnecessarily but when you do a verification do a proper verification mirror mirror shoulder all right um, it's a pretty difficult roundabout we'll be approaching here soon <clears throat> you'll not get much help and the roundabout is uh, is with equipped with traffic lights normally roundabouts are without traffic lights so you will simply get told to follow the sign saying Castro go towards Castro let's do that which means keep furthest right and then you shall leave on this first exit no need to give signal but you, you must do your verification make sure no one is trying to cross uh, their red line perhaps all right let's keep the speed on the 50 so that we don't drive unnecessarily too slow roads like these are safe how do you know they're safe is that there are lane markings clearly lane markings as you can see on the right side there are bike lanes okay so 
do not drive unnecessarily too slow on these kind of roads. Let's go left on the traffic light, mirror, mirror, shoulder, signal, and then a new verification, sorry, mirror, mirror, shoulder. They will be expecting that from you. It's a lot of things to do. Changing gears, positioning, verifications. It's hard work, but you will be truly happy once you pass this. For many of you, it can have been a long journey. All right, we have clear visibility ahead. Let's go. <coughs> now look at this, the sign ahead with the, with the arrows. Now the arrows doesn't mean anything, the colors, you can ignore that, but it's the shape of the sign. When the, when the shape about give way duty for oncoming traffic, if it's a uh, rectangle, then it means it's like information sign, which means you have priority, you should proceed. If it's round, then it's a prohibitory sign, which means it will say that you need to give way to oncoming traffic. No pedestrians, let's proceed. Here I'll be driving a little bit less than 50, the speed limit, since there is this school sign. When there are school signs, it doesn't mean that you have to go to some exact speed, but it depends. Um, is there children and so on on the road? <coughs> Here the side road has give way duty. You shall still make sure that they are giving way, but no need to slow down unnecessarily too much. Speed bumps recommended between 20 and 30 speed. No need to slow down too much also. And with the speed bumps, you can, you can know that there's a speed bump coming ahead with those white uh, squares, okay? So you can prepare the speed. It's never comfortable to um, slow down on the speed bump, but do it before the speed bump. We are about to turn left. Now, why will the examiner take you into this kind of residential area? like these narrow roads. So why is that they will be now uh, checking you on your give way right hand duty? And that can be the difficult part because you would think you have priority as you're going straight, but no. Side road here has no markings. Check behind first, position the car, and then do your checkup. Okay, the, the mafia look. All right, but if there was a side road on the left, do not forget to, to check that also. Not that you have to you way to the left so the one you can see here is a junction with both side roads but it's a right hand duty check first behind position you can quickly check left and then much more to the right because if anyone was coming from your right that's the side you need to stop for the traffic and remember traffic is not only cars it's anything on wheels so even cyclists you would need to give way to we are turning left and then as you can see on the right again there's a right hand duty looks clear I'm positioning the car a bit more to the right in case there, there was a um, oncoming traffic then you have to give them space here the examiner will probably tell you to Stop your car on the right side. Before you stop, check, give signal, and get close to the right side. And again, you can mostly, it can be very hard to check um, the, the distance in front. So that's why use your side mirror. I'm looking at the side mirror and it looks like we have, a, we have a gap like this. So it looks pretty good. When you get told to park, you don't need to go super close, all right? Um, the, the, there can be a risk if you go too close that the car might hit the, the curb. All right, so what I'll be doing here, <clears throat> and, then, and why did the examiner tell you to stop the car is because now you will need to perform a three-point turn. Let's do that. <clears throat> doing the checkup, um, mirror, mirror shoulder, giving signal, turning the steering wheel full left, going as close as possible to the curb without hitting. Okay, it can be really hard to estimate, but somewhere where your left foot is, that's where the wheel will be. So if you feel your left foot is getting really close to the curb, then you shall stop, put the car on reverse, 
do a new checkup. Both sides. Right checkup, left checkup. Looks good. Let's turn the steering wheel full to the right and no need to give signal anymore. No more signal. It was only in the beginning that you were giving the signal. Now when you're going back, not recommended to check that mirror. Only the left side mirror. Because in your left side mirror, you can estimate the, the car's back wheel. So in this case, we have no more space. We are putting the car in first gear, still no signal. Okay, um, you can give signals, it's not a problem. But then you might be forgetting your mafia look for the traffic to the right. Looks clear. So I will give no signal, turning the steering wheel full left and then continuing. Here we have another right hand duty. So check first left, okay, quickly, because the left side you're not supposed to give way, but the right side, the mafia look. Park cars, check behind again. Looks clear, okay? So don't just assume or expect that it's clear from behind. Look at these kids here enjoying their time on the road. Uh, I'm driving around 10, 15 because you never know what the skater guy might do all of a sudden. Now, what do you do here? You can see there's a sign saying no entry. So give your, uh, do your verification, give signal. And in this case, you will be going automatically to the left since it's a one-way road. And then you will get told to turn left uh, from this one-way road. So that's why I'm positioning the car um, fully to the left. Giveaway duty both sides, really hard to see on the right, but it was clear. So we are going. All right, we are out of the uh, residential area and you may be confused what is the speed limit here. Since, since we came into this um, road with some speed restrictions, so it's recommended to keep it around that for now. As you can see, the speed restricted area is now finishing 40. Let's go left. It can be hard to remember these zones, speed restrictions and so on. So keep an eye. Here we have no clear view for the uh, front, but as you can see, the light is changing. So you must proceed. Do not worry about the oncoming cars on these left turns. Road narrowing, check, mirror, shoulder. And then speed up to the speed limit, which in this case, will be around 50. <coughs> A lot of activity here. That's why we are slowing slightly down, but then try to speed up again if the traffic is moving again. When you approach green traffic light, it's recommended to not change your speed. Keep it in the same speed so that you're ready to hit the brake in case the light will change. Here it's changing, but we have already passed the stop line. New speed limit sign, 60. Further ahead, there are coming some signs. The examiner will tell you to go towards Castrop again. So that's why I'm changing lane already. Check, giving signal. I gave the soft signal, by the way, the, the new cars have Oh, the camera is getting too hot down there by the feet. Yeah, sorry guys. Um, the pedals are not visible anymore, but we have shown you mostly like how you should be using the pedals. These cameras, they give up a bit too fast sometimes. Try to fix that for the next video. I apologize. Yeah, anyways, this is the, um, that was the roundabout I was explaining about. It's a, it's a pretty tough one, as you get no help. Um, you, you must just follow the signs saying Kestrup, and the, the signs were saying that you should position your car furthest to the, to the left. That's why we are positioning here. And then, when you're in the roundabout, just keep furthest to the right in order to proceed to Kestrop. Just don't take that. Don't, don't proceed straight though, where you see the green traffic lights. That's not Kestrop.
All right, let's get going. Okay, check also because you're moving your car to the lane furthest right, okay? And be careful, there's a solid line here in the middle. Don't cross that line. If you saw the car, just pass the red light, okay? So be careful. Don't just blindly follow others. We had a car in front of us that was going also towards Kestrup, as you can see on the sign on your left. But the car um, totally missed this traffic light. It can happen uh, for you also as well if you're not paying enough attention. And especially if you are looking at other cars, which is not recommended, you should never look at others. What they are doing, how they are driving, Follow your rules, the traffic lights, the lane markings, okay? Uh, not the others. We are checking again just to make sure that no one is passing their red traffic lights speeding up. Let's reach around 50. <coughs> if you're going a, a bit over the speed, it will be counted as a minor mistake. So don't worry for that one, just, just don't drive. Uh, on purpose too fast. It can happen sometimes if you're focusing on many things and you quickly lose the concentration for the speed. Approach red traffic lights always nice and slowly. Do not rush it to the stop line and then brake hard. Not recommended. Pretend there's a cup of, cup of coffee on your dashboard, yeah? And then you should not be spilling the coffee while driving. I'm really sure your examiner will appreciate a smooth drive instead of the, the harsh kind of race driving. All right, school signs, just slowing slightly down. Um, as you can see, there are no children and, and the road is safe. There's bike lanes, road markings. Now and then check your inside mirror also in case you have to brake hard if the light changes. Right now we have a car very close to us behind. Going left, checking, giving signal. And also here, do not hesitate, go and stop the car in the middle, all right? It's always best to slow down and stop. Now I'm not making a full stop since the oncoming traffic was far and there was no pedestrian and no cyclist. But if you're not sure, it's, it's better to stop instead of rushing on your left hand and then suddenly realize, oh yeah, there was actually a cyclist and you'll be blocking oncoming traffic. This one is a um, tough one coming up. You'll get told to turn to the right and the lane markings are pretty misleading. They're broken and saying bus, which means you can actually position to the right. So let's do it already now. Okay, and also the right turns, I recommend you to go to the dotted lines, which means here, and don't block the cyclist, and then stop your car, do a checkup. First gear, all right, all good. Again, the, don't rush it if, when you're doing these right and left turns. Now, um, one of the typical places they're failing the students is on this road, because they will tell you to turn left, but it's really hard to see and there's a lot of things happening here, right? So we have to check all the time. So what is difficult here is that you would think the first one is, is to the left, but that's actually for oncoming traffic. So position your car all the way here to the broken lines and then check and then go. Okay, this compulsory blue sign, I'm not sure if you saw it with the arrow, that one should be helping you that you have to position furthest right. So many students are going furthest to the left and then going into wrong direction, which is like a fail, kind of like immediate fail. Also pretty tough place, this one here. Uh, it's a lot of verifications due to the parked cars. If there are parked cars on the both sides, you don't need to pull in, if unless of course there's some oncoming traffic. In this roundabout, you will get told to leave at the last exit, which is the third exit. 
you can give signal, but it's not uh, mandatory. But let's do it. It's uh, it's nice to be um, helpful to the other road users to to show them that we are going to go all the way around in this roundabout. Okay, so the side roads here have unconditional duty to give way, absolute give way duty, but you shall still check, um, but just a quick check, not the, not the big one. All right, and then new verification, giving signal, this is your third exit, all right. Now these, um, these markings coming up here, you, you would think it's a giveaway to, to both sides, but it's not, okay? So the, the markings are just there to indicate you that it's a um, speed bump. So it's still right-hand duty that will apply. Left side, they have to give way to you, but you should still check quickly. And then we have a, another giveaway right-hand duty coming up. So again, as you can see, these looks it looks like a roundabout, but it's not it's not a roundabout, and it's also not shakti. So, so don't get confused. It is simply some markings that is telling you that it's a speed bump coming up. So be aware of that. More parked cars, and then new verification because you are passing the parked cars. And look at this more right hand duty first check behind and then position and then do your mafia look great new verification due to the parked cars positioning the car now again right hand duty but don't forget to check the left also quickly but mostly most focus on the right and then a little bit on the left It's a lot of speed bumps, so that's why we are driving a bit slow. But you, you, you can speed up after the speed bump. <clears throat> Let's go left over here. Check mirror, mirror, shoulder, signal. And then remember, new check up again. Mirror, mirror, shoulder. Side road has duty to give way. You should still check. Okay, don't just expect that they will hold back. We may never expect anything in the traffic from other road users. You should always pay attention. Um, mirror shoulder because parked cars, speed bump. Is there any oncoming traffic here? seems like the car is turning so we can proceed otherwise it's recommended that you were moving into the right uh, to give way let's go left over here now look at this there's a parked car so close so the solid line the continuous line you are it doesn't mean anything in that case um, so you can cross that full line due to the parked cars only only there are parked cars like forcing you to to pass the line otherwise otherwise no Now, these left turns, they might confuse you, like, like how far should you go? Look at the lane, um, the, the markings, they are so unclear. So the thing is, uh, you can decide, but you should try to proceed as, as far as possible. Just do not cause the oncoming traffic inconvenience. Okay, so I will position the car over here, because here I know I won't cause an inconvenience. Clear ahead, clear behind. Let's proceed. So for the left turns, you cannot expect there will be a line always telling you like how far should you go. And that's why you, you may decide. Try to use the space fully ahead of you so that the cars behind could also follow you. Pedestrians crossing, but really nice visibility. So that's why we are not slowing down more than this. We should actually, after this sign, 
speed up to 60. A bit fast, I would say, for a road like this. Also traffic lights, you may never know if they suddenly change. So that's why I'm not speeding up too much due to approaching the green light. All right, but after you pass the green light, then do not hesitate, all right? Even though it's 50 would have been more safe here with the speed limit. Anytime you're moving the car slightly, you must do your verifications also. All right, still 60. And this car in front of you that was turning left, try not to get scared of it. Of course, pay attention, but, but don't take action because of that car. The, the thing is that those turning left, they have to give way to you if you're going straight. So uh, not recommended to react on that kind of situation. The oncoming traffic going left will many times try to scare you. Pay attention, but do not take action. Not recommended. Let's speed up. 60. All right. Every two, three seconds, look at your speedometer. Let's go left on the traffic light mirror. Check shoulder signal, changing lane. Keep furthest left. Stay close by the curb on your on your left side. Go in position, okay? Do not hesitate. Let's position. How far would you go? Okay, so somewhere here, like as close as possible. And the car in front is actually far, so you must proceed. So do not um, wait unnecessarily too long on the left turns if the traffic in front is um, far enough. Now they'll be directing you, heading you back to the test place where you started your test. Some pretty um, challenging roundabouts coming up. And let's take the second exit on this first roundabout, which is kind of like straight. Check first behind, okay. Appropriate gear, I'm choosing the second. Okay, don't give signal until you pass the first side road. Check then give signal. Check again before turning. So a lot of checkups. Should never save these like yeah. But only when you're taking actions, not not while driving straight. While driving straight, it's recommended to mostly have your focus on your speed so that you don't lose too much speed. And check also now and then in your inside mirror if anyone is driving too close in case someone was driving too close then you must pass the yellow light um, if if the stop line is too close in this case it's very far obviously so we are stopping stop not too far from the car but you should be able to see the back wheels clearly that is recommended so don't go too close don't go too far the back wheels should be visible while stopping while driving hopefully you know already that's the minimum two seconds distance hopefully your driving teacher driving school has have explained you that if not you can ask. It's hard for me to explain while driving now. Another roundabout. You'll get told to take the second exit, leave at the second exit. So we give no signal, but we should still check behind to position the car furthest right, okay? So keep furthest right. Shark teeth, which means duty to give away both sides. It's free. Let's proceed. Position your car again, uh, once again, furthest to the right. That's your first exit, so not here. And this is now the second exit. Check, give signal. 
and then before taking actions you must check again don't worry about the signal it's a bit annoying it, it, it doesn't goes off it's because the road is still turning so it will go off here so don't worry about it uh, no need to focus on, on that part too much all right approaching green traffic light try to keep, keep the same speed and as you can see it was changing so we have to stop it was not a sudden change so no danger in this one otherwise you will have to check your inside mirror before you decide to slow down if it was a sudden one the next roundabout is coming up that's the only roundabout where you have to normally have to position yourself furthest to the left because you will always get directed to go towards Kastrup, which is the lane furthest left. So, um, if, if you want it, you, you could change lane soon. Uh, we will wait a little bit. Maybe before the buses. Let's change the lane before the buses. Anyways, if the bus gives the signal, then you have to give way. So, let's just stay away from them. Okay, keeping the same speed, don't change. Otherwise, you're not ready to stop in case the light goes yellow. Oh, we went yellow and I'm checking behind. It looks clear. So that's why I am stopping. And again, in this case, the line was pretty far, the stop line. So you should still stop. Um, even if there was someone close to you behind. Since the line was far. You can see ahead, there's the roundabout. Which is... It's hard to see the... The writing in, on that sign is not that big, so, but it's saying that if you are going to Kastrup, then you may, not may, but you have to position your car furthest to the left in the roundabout and then leave on your third exit. We give signal to be kind to others to the left, not right, only to the left. Seems like the traffic is far, so we can go. Checking around, making sure positioning um, furthest left now the speed it's recommended don't go over 20 um, you will just lose focus and concentrations of the lane markings this is your third exit there's a full solid line do not cross that check give signal right and then position your car furthest to the left follow the sign Castro which is to the left on the second traffic light which also means that we will not give signal yet. The lane, mark, the lane markings are telling you that the first side road, you're not allowed to turn. <clears throat> so that's why give no signal yet. So when will you be giving signal? Will be once you pass the first traffic light. There'll be two left turning lanes. Make sure to choose the one furthest to the left. Sorry, my, my mistake furthest to the right because I was looking left. Uh, multitasking is not really going good um, for me as well. Checking, positioning furthest right, lane merging, check, mirror, shoulder, and don't hesitate if there was a car behind you. You have priority. Traffic light, you get told to turn left, check mirror shoulder and again mirror shoulder before changing lane positioning fully focus only on the positioning okay I'm not recommended to, to check the traffic in front it, it doesn't mean anything at this moment anyways that you have to stop so fully focus on your uh, positioning so how close are you you can check on your left side mirror how close are you you can check on your right side mirror um, it will help you a lot to understand um, the positioning of the car All right, seems like the traffic is far. Check up behind and let's go. Do not wait unnecessarily too long on your left turn. Now you are heading back to the test place. So that is to the right at this next entrance. Try to block for the cyclist close by the curb. Checking, going, keeping to the right. 
Now these speed bumps uh, are pretty nasty. Um, the smaller they are, the, the, the more harsh they are. So I will go around 10. But most of uh, all other speed bumps, you can go between 20 to 30. They are less harsh as these here in this parking. And that's because they don't want people to be driving too fast in this par these parking areas. All right, let's park the car same place where we started here in Kestrup. Okay, but um, uh, when, when you arrive back, um, just park your car and then wait for instructions. The examiner will tell you to secure your car. Secure, neutral, um, pull the parking brake. It's like a little button in other cars. It can be a, a handle, the handbrake it's also called. And then switch off the key. Okay, so now you have secured the car and this is the time where you'll get told uh, congratulations, hopefully you have passed. Um, if not, then the examiner will have to give you the reason why you did not pass. Um, but we hope that this video uh, could help you to hopefully pass. And um, you can always watch our other videos about mock test the students are driving and we are pointing out like if it's uh, minor or serious mistakes and um, about the parking it can be hard to understand while reversing we will put a link also that you can download um, an app where you can practice on your smartphone tablet and so on like how to reverse with the car it can give up maybe a little bit better understanding of when how to go backwards not really the real life but hopefully could help you yes and um, thank you for watching we hope you liked our video and um, follow us hit the like and subscribe we are updating thank you for this time and see you soon again bye bye